I was so fast. Oh my God, we just set it. We just dropped it down there. Oh, come on. My drag's not tight enough. Hot diggity. <laughs> Welcome to Bly Man Outdoors. I'm Dave, and I've been exploring my whole life, from my hometown in the Blind Man River Valley to the jungles of South America. Four years ago, I left an old life behind to chase a passion full time. Now, I built Canada's Yucapac Camper and the Alberta Outdoor Adventure Expo, all while continuing to explore and experience the great outdoors. You see, I believe we're called to live free and be wild. And if you do too, then this is the place for you. guys we are at uh, Mameo Beach today we're actually on Pigeon Lake and I uh, just pulled off there's a, a local there getting some sleds quads and side-by-sides ready for heading out so he's uh, so there's a lake access just right right about yonder where we were where we just drove past so we're gonna find a spot to turn around here and uh, Head out onto the ice and see what's up, see what we can see. We'll find a place to park, pull our gear out, and uh, get out onto the hard water. And then I've also got some really, really fun and uh, exciting news to share with you guys today. So before we do that, we're gonna get out on the ice. I believe Lyndon might actually be coming out too. Uh, and today we're gonna be targeting walleye and perch. Pigeon Lake is a very, uh, popular walleye lake so we're just gonna find a place to park here on first street and go take a walk down and see what we can see in the lake Guys, look at this beauty. Here we go. Look at that. Whoa. Okay. Okay, so this guy, we're only in like a meter of water, guys. And I have been trying to get deeper and deeper to get onto these wallies. And this monster just took like super fast. Clean them up a little bit. Oh yeah. Look at that. What a beauty. Look at the size of him. Look at the size of his eyes. My God. Hey. What a beauty. There we go. A beautiful walleye. Beautiful walleye out of the ice. We have not been here long. Wow, hey. Let's put that guy on the bump board and see what we're looking at here. All right, so we're at 19 and a quarter. 19 and a quarter inches on that bad boy. All right. We're on them, guys. Let's go. The size of that walleye for only being in about a meter and a half of water is mind boggling. That was a 19 and I think a quarter, 19 and three quarters. So not a huge fish by any means, but probably one of the bigger walleyes I've ever caught. And uh, the battery on our auger also has gone out. So we've only got two holes drilled, unfortunately. And uh, we're actually jigging this guy here. So this is a Berkeley, I believe. Uh, no, no, this isn't a Berkeley. This is a whisker. This is a whisker double tail jig. 
It's the chartreuse color with the chartreuse jig head, also by Whisker. And uh, I have not had much luck with those on Sylvan Lake. Um, but out here on Pigeon, it seems to be... It seems to be doing the trick, so we're just going to keep fishing. What's going on? What's going on, buddy? Oh, it's good to be out again. Isn't it? <laughs> really good. Welcome. I got batteries. He just missed, you missed, you just missed PB walleye. <laughs> Should have seen the eyes on this cocksucker, man. They were huge. Not that those are going to help. I don't really ever bait fish, man. It's pretty much, this is all I run. Especially at West. Why? This is my lucky hook. Every time I drop this thing out west into a river out west, I pull a fucking rainbow out. So it's hard to beat. It's hard to beat a, a jig head with a with a know. grub. I've had a lot of luck with these. Absolutely stunning. Well, let's go get that hole. Yeah, let's go get the hole. <laughs> that was so fast. Oh my god, we just said it. We just dropped it down there. Oh, come on. My drag's not tight enough. Hot diggity! Blended, what the hell, man? I didn't even start yet. Look at this guy. Oh. Hey. There we go. <laughs> oh, man. I haven't even... I just got here. Beautiful. Beautiful. What do you think, guys? There we go. I just got this thing right down there. I just dropped it. Oh, he wants to leave. We'll let him go. Wow, okay. This off. We're going to keep the jig head. And we're just going to see if we can't stab a fish without having to get our hands all grossed up with some... There you go. And we're going to throw this dead stick down there just like that. Unbelievable. All right. That's uh That's a celebratory. That's awesome. All right. I was not expecting that. Hoorah. Give a little line. Oh, we're on. <laughs> We're on, baby! <laughs> Cheating. Yeah, boy! Oh. All right, ladies. You know what? If we were catching walleye to eat them today, we would be eating well. Look at that beautiful fish. Hey, tell me that's not an absolute specimen. Oh, man, I absolutely love it. Give her a kiss. Ah! Wow! Awesome! We're doing well, and that's a completely different walleye, too. We've got a dead stick set up over there. We've got Linden jigging over there. We've got me jigging over here. We've got our main hole over there, and we have caught fish in every single one of them here at Pigeon Lake. And uh, a great way to spend a Saturday. We got a beautiful sunset. Just look at that. Like, just tell me. Just look around here and tell me you don't want to be here right now. Just look at it. One thing that I do want to talk about, and switch gears just a little bit today, is AOA Expo Spring Event. So, this spring, the Alberta Outdoor Adventure Expo has more or less partnered up with Gear 4 Overland. So shout out to Aubrey and Rival Trade uh, Brewing out of uh, Rocky Mountain House, Alberta. And we're going to put on a shindig this spring for everybody. So you're going to have some vendors, you're going to have beer tasting, live music, a whole bunch of awesome things, and maybe even a couple keynote speakers at Rival Trade in Rocky Mountain House. Uh, if you guys want date, I'm going to put the date and the location right down here so you guys can see it. Bring. And uh, save the date, save your calendars, because it's going to be a really, really good time. Also, this past week, in the last 14 days over at Blind Man Overland, as you guys have noticed, we haven't been posting a video in about two weeks, and it's because we just absolutely blew up in the shop. So we've got orders for Yucapac campers. We've got orders for the new Kodiak cap, which is coming out 
Uh, very, very soon you guys are gonna start seeing it on our website and I'm gonna encourage you to go to that website at www.blindmanoverland.com. We have a whole fresh new look, super fun to use. You can price and build out your own Yucca Pack camper exactly with what you want in it. And uh, we will also be doing the same thing for the rooftop tents that we're providing. Uh, manufacturing sorry and the new truck caps so if you guys want to see what we got coming down the pipe I really encourage you to hit that like and subscribe button it's the best way to help small adventure companies like Blind Man Overland grow and in doing so we provide you guys with some fun cool exciting content like fishing ice fishing camping what else do we do Lynn we go four-wheeling we pre if it's out if it happens outside we probably film it and we probably put it on the internet for people like you so if you like that kind of stuff guys smash it let's let, ha come hang out with us have a good time and uh i promise i'll never lead you astray but for now we're gonna keep fishing here i think Lyndon might actually be getting a little bit of attention over there what are you doing are you getting fish i feel something kind of like something curious yeah i wonder I haven't heard that bell go off yet, which is actually pretty surprising. Because that thing, like that hole, when we dropped that one down, we didn't even set the, the line yet, and, the, and, the, and the, a healthy walleye just smashed it. That first walleye we caught, though, those eyes were the size of toonies. I've never seen that before in a fish. Like, they were absolutely enormous. Anyway, let's get back to fishing. All right, so we got a bunch of holes drilled now. Lyndon ended up bringing his battery. And every time we've been dropping, every time we do a new drop, we're hooking up. So let's test it. Let's do a new drop on a fresh hole. Same jig, double tail whisker chartreuse color. And we're doing this on the Phantom, the Phantom series by Rapala. We're only, we're only about a meter deep. Let's see. Nothing on. Oh, there we go. We're on. On the drop, baby. This is ridiculous. Absolutely on fire, Lyndon. What the hell, man? They're everywhere. Wow, barely hooked. This guy's trying to bite me. Barely hooked. Oh, come on. Maybe not barely hooked. He seems, he seems fairly hooked. There we go. Oh, well, he's all tangled. Wow. Not the biggest one we've caught yet, but look at that, folks. It's the walleye number three, baby. Hey, just look at him. What an absolutely stunning fish. I love these things. They're just so beautiful. Look at the coloration. Hey, like... Look at that. Oh. oh, right. Rocketed right in the hole. Unbelievable. Lyndon, you gotta get your jigs on, buddy. <laughs> soon if I jig, let's see if as soon as I jig this, it gets something. I wonder if maybe, I wonder if maybe they're not actively hunting and they're just wait, they're just looking to see what's easy. So we'll just grab it. Let's give it three. Let's go one. Two, three, and then drop her back down, bring her back up. And see who answers the door. So the rod we're using over here is just a super cheap uh, ice blue so this is the HT series you get this in a kit and for like 50 or 60 bucks you get two rod, uh, two combo rods fully set up you get a, a relatively decent medium and you get a relatively decent ultralight and the ultralight's great for panfish this rig is great for pike and walleye probably not anything too big but more or less a really really good kit lens or a kit rod you guys can pretty much kit yourself out with it when it comes to ice fishing gear with the basics if you buy used, probably like under a hundred bucks. If you buy brand new, probably under 350 bucks. So it's a really affordable, um, relative, well, it's a relatively really affordable pastime to kind of get into. And uh, you can really get access to waters that you wouldn't even be able to fish 
in the summer unless you had a boat. So it's really, really unique in the way that it lets you get out and fish the lakes um, at least half of the season if you don't, like without having to purchase a boat, which is super keen. It also kind of lets you know where the fish are. So if you ever do end up buying a boat, you kind of know where you ice fish, you can kind of get an idea of where the fish are gathering. So really, really easy to get into this kind of stuff. Super cheap. And honestly, if you're like a young family or something like that, this is really good fun for the kids. How deep is it? Only about a meter and a half. Really? Yeah, so you go down, hit bottom, come up a little bit and just, and you should have, you should feel something smash it right away. Tighten up drag now? Oh yeah. I'm wondering if what's happening is that they're, they're not, they're not schooling, but there's enough of them in the area that everybody has their own yeah. zone. So what's happening is every time we drop down, we're taking somebody's attention. I'm surprised we haven't heard the bell go off yet over there. Linden, Linden just got off. Oh man. That's a bummer. That thing just started pulling line and then all of a sudden just snapped. That's a bummer. Oh, you see the rock? That, that was dude, tanked, that was man. Like... I'm I'm staring at the I'm staring at the bell right now thinking there might be somebody over there. Dude. We're also uh, working on limited camera gear, limited battery life right now. Um, but we'll see you when we start getting back on the fish. That's the first fish that we actually had in like, what, 45 minutes? Yeah, at least 45. At least 45 minutes. And uh, I wouldn't say it's a bad knot. That's just like, it just took the line. Could be. It could just be a tank. His, the, he has a pretty heavy rod and that thing looked like a banana. So, but yeah, we're going we're gonna to re-rig up here and get back down the hole. Oh shit. Oh yeah. Oh, you know what I didn't grab is my Leatherman. Oh, barely hooked. Oh no. It's hooked in me now. Oh no. You don't you dare. <laughs> oh shit. Thank you. Ooh. Oh no. <laughs> Here we go. That is the first time I've ever caught a fish on a storm product. Just a little rattler, rattler spoon. Look at this guy. Let's get him some. Hey, look at that. What a beauty fish. His eyes are like purple. Yeah, that's massive. See that? That's his adipose, adipose fin. What a beautiful fish. What a beautiful fish. What would you say? That's 16 inches maybe? Yeah, 18? 16 to 18. 16 to 18. That is a perfect eater walleye. If we were fishing to keep today, we'd be throwing that guy in the esky and, and heading home. Oh, this guy's just checking fish. me out. You look at a fish, he's just going to keep his eyes on you no yeah. matter what. But what a beautiful fish, eh? Gorgeous. Look at that. That's number six, guys. That's number six. Let's get him in the water here. Just take one more look at him. Hey, look at that. That is a beautiful, <laughs> beautiful, beautiful fish. Absolutely. All right. And away he goes. We're actually, we're quite a distance from the edge, but we're not the furthest. We're actually only fishing maybe a meter of water. So fish can't see very far. They can't see you. Um, from very far away because you've got a whole ceiling of ice and a whole bottom of dirt and you've only got about a meter and a half of water table to play with so you kind of got to catch them as they're swimming through and we had gotten it would have been quiet here for a minute Lyndon lost one about 30 minutes ago that's the last one we've caught for for quite a few minutes it's now uh, 10 quarter to five in the afternoon on Saturday here at Pigeon Lake and we've had an absolute blast super stoked we got that last one but I think for the most part, that's probably gonna do it for us here today. So we're probably gonna fish for a few more minutes yet and 
and uh, see what there is to see. And you know what? If the bite turns on and we get that evening bite, then we'll probably throw up that shack and stay for another two or three hours. So if that happens, you'll see me again. But if not, this is going to be the close for the video. Remember, uh, AOA Expo, www.aoaexpo.com if you want to learn more about the events that we hold here in Alberta uh, for outdoor enthusiasts and uh, www.blindmanoverland.com if you guys want to see more about the Yucca Pack Camper and the products that we manufacture here at Blind Man Overland for uh, outdoor adventure. As you can see, we're kind of spread across the board when it comes to outdoor wrecks. So hope to see you guys on the next one. Remember, live free, be wild, and uh, yeah. I'm over here setting up and he breaks off. I hear fish on. Next thing you know the lion snaps on him, chucks the frickin' rod, screaming I can get him and he got him. I'll be damned. Oh guys, I was just walking up to this dead stick and I saw it bend and I gave it a good old yeet. And there she was. What was I saying all day that I'm surprised this thing hasn't moved at all? And then the line broke. Like, follow this line. This line, even with a steel leader, Ooh. broke right there. Oh my god. And that's a big as I was fish. trying to get the fish out, she did, definitely ended up drawing some blood. Okay. Oh, that's sweet, man. I couldn't believe it. I thought I <laughs> oh, saw it, it go down and I was like, there's no way. This thing's, this thing's been sitting out here baited for three hours. And then I saw it go bloop. I was like, no. I wonder, though, if he, if she's How's been that? on here for... Man, look how gold she is. Yeah. She's a chunky monkey. Look at this thing. Beautiful. Hey, look at those eyes. Another one with some just monster eyes. You know, and they can see really good. Like they can see really, really good at night because of those eyes. Here we go, lots of more color. So once more guys, one more time. Get her back in the water. Look at her, eh? Just a beautiful, beautiful fish. That would be such good eating. All right. Kick, 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 kick. Come on, you got it, you got it. There she goes. Ha! This has been absolutely incredible, <laughs> man. Let's log that, shall we? Let's go into our Garmin. It's been a good day with the gorgeous sunset. <sighs> log catch. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, that's seven total, seven total caught between seven different holes in three, about three hours. Again, really shallow water here. And we're pulling out some, some pretty fair sized walleyes, so absolutely jazzed about that it is getting cold though yeah it is <laughs> it is getting cold. i might have to go throw a jacket on yeah i might have to i never brought one so we're gonna we're gonna stomach it out until uh until the temperature drops too much it was about zero degrees all day today maybe even plus five at some time it was plus six driving out here. yeah so it was really beautiful today but we might be at the end of it but that's okay